Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as Ryazan. When we last left off, our hated rival, who is our bestest frenemy right now, Russia, previously known as Muscovy. Yeah, they formed Russia last time. Very annoying, but life goes on. Our plan for today is to wipe out Crimea, and from there... We are probably going to try. We actually, we might just straight up at this point. In fact, you know what? Let's just, whether this is a good idea or a bad idea, I'm just going to straight up, uh, yeah, bam. We'll see what happens, basically. If they end up recovering <laughs> before we can, I don't know, say ally, we can ally the Ottomans. All right. You know, we'll keep being friends with the Ming because the Ming aren't bad people. You know, they're just, they're just, uh, you know, a small town, uh, small town empire trying to make their way in this world. Actually, I could probably beat these guys with just one stack. Oh, right, but we are going to be fighting no guy and Kazan as well. And Kazan is weak and flimsy, so I'm not terribly scared about any of this. We're just going to eat, eat these guys up and yeah, it's going to be simple, clean. No longer claim Rin belongs to us. All right, that's fine by me. All right. And Imoretti is still dying of, like, cancer over here with their rebels. I should probably help them out. But then again, if somehow Ostrakhani separatists show up, that would actually benefit us. So I'm going to... Yeah. I'm not going to call in Moldavia. We'll save our... F How many favors do I have with them, anyway? I probably could have checked from that screen, but I'm lazy. And possibly a little slow. So, yeah. Slow on the uptake, fast on winning. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Alright. Let's see. Only need a handful of guys. Don't even need this many, but we'll we'll make sure we've got a couple of guys here. And actually, which one of you has Siege Leader? You're a Siege Leader. We're not a Siege Leader. Alright. Uh, yeah, you go in here and kill this guy, and then we'll, you know, march over to no guy. This one stack will do all the work of taking out Crimea. That is how it's done. Probably. It's how I do it, anyway. Whether it's the way that works or the way that doesn't, I don't care. What I do care about is results. And I've got a good feeling about this as I crack my knuckles. Poland is apparently spying on me, but screw you, Poland. I Did you eat Hungary? Most of Hungary. I feel bad. You're fighting France for some reason. The League War... I mean, we should get involved in that, shouldn't we, when that happens? The Spanish Conquest of Navarra. That's a... All right. Oh, and Spain exists. That's a, that's a thing. Uh, you hate me. You also, you know, I'm going to make friends with England. Why not? You probably need all the help you can get at this point in your life. Poor England. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at us squishing. Oh, God, they're squishing us. This is bad. Okay, break off that, break off that engagement. Okay, probably should remember that hordes are, like, really super cool and powerful on flat terrain. That I should not uh, underestimate that. All right, and with the, you know what? With that in mind, let's call let's call Moldavia in. I need a bit more help than I initially expected. That was uh, stupid, foolish overconfidence right there. And if Darkest Dungeon has taught us anything, it's that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And if you guys want us all sit on my capital, that's fine by me. All right. Now, how do I want to do this? What's going on over here? At war of someone else? No, Uzbek is fighting some other guy. All right, good enough. Good enough. I'm gonna. Have, I don't touch Kazan at all, so I'm just gonna like try to piece them out separately. I think. And you should be standing next to to him. And Moldavia will hopefully. I'm gonna actually ask Moldavia. Hey, can you uh? You can walk over here, can't you? Oh, you know maybe I should have taken. One more province, just so that uh, we 
could have some easy walking. Alright, so yeah. Moldavia, you get him. I will get Kazan. Yeah, let's... Let's do that. I feel sort of okay about this. Sort of. Kind of. Not really. I wonder if you have a lot of money somehow. I don't know how you would have a lot of money at this point in your life, but... It could theoretically happen, so with that in mind, let's uh, hope for the best. Alright, drop everyone we don't need. We'll give, you, we'll give you two infantry, because why not? I'm not a complete monster. Oh yeah, look at that, they're splitting up. And this, uh... It's still all flat terrain, so we're gonna be boned, basically, but... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna... Sit here. You you do you, my friend. Actually, let's not sit here. If they siege back all of Crimea, that's fine. Let's, uh, well, one, let's siege back our province, and then we'll siege our way through Nogai. If Moldavia is able to take them out, all the better for me. Alright. So, yeah, we'll just wander in here. Actually, you know what? I don't know why I thought this was water for some reason. Even though water does not look like that in EU4. Don't question me sometimes. In fact, you shouldn't question me. You'll just... You'll just... You're just asking for trouble. It will not end well. For anyone. Especially not me. What I do know is that we are actually... Practically gods. Practically, but not really. And we're actually going to be able to finish another mission once we take all this land, and that's going to be sweet. So I don't actually even need to spy on you anymore. Who is worth spying on next? I guess Muscovy? Or Russia? You know what? I'm going to keep calling them Muscovy. I'm going to go back and forth. That's what's really going to happen here, but, uh... Oh yeah, and they're allied with Moldavia. Troublesome. Because Moldavia is my bestest buddy in the whole wide world. Or at least that's what I thought. Oh, you guys actually won. Color me pleasantly surprised. Wow, we're actually still losing. Still losing manpower to attrition out here in this godforsaken hell pit of a, a hell pit. Wonderful. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Knowledge is power. That's what I believe in. Even if... Uh, and if the game does not want to believe in that with me, I will believe in it. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to take any of No Guy's land, even the stuff that I've got claims on. Actually, let's start grouping everyone back together. I want to get out of here. As soon as we can. Wow, 71%. That's. That's not terrible, but it's not great. All right. Yeah, let's get everyone who doesn't need to be here back into our own territory. Yeah, they should die. Simple enough. All right, you go here. Go here. Or you know what? You go down there. All right. And you finish sieging that, and then we'll get out of here. We'll take some money from our other enemies. All right. We've, we've done all we can do to make Ming love us forever. Hold on, Kazan. I will give these peace terms whatever and wherever I want. Or whatever and however and why ever I want. Oh, yeah, you were actually supposed to keep going down this way. Kinda screwed that one up, that's my fault. And circle back there. Merge up. Life is grand again. Look at these rubes. In fact, what happened to them? Huh. Well, that kind of worked out nicely for us, didn't it? I mean, they're not even capable of fighting us. Like, what, uh... What's up, Doc? I'll go for that. We've got enough legitimacy that I am happy with where life is. And you know what? It's... If I can actually bait them into coming over to my capital, that would be good, too. I would accept that. Ah, the Astrakhanis again. 
know what? I'm actually just going to sit right here and I'm going to, I'm just going to start drilling because I think we are safe enough that I can afford to do that. You know, it's probably not the, not the best idea in the world. I'm still going to do it. Please tell me you have a lot of money. You have a acceptable amount of money. And let's see, end your rivalry with no guy and your alliance is there and revoke your cores on anything that I have so I stop having to worry about you. That gets us some sweet and salty, uh, I don't know if I want that. I don't know why it's salty either, but victory is what it, what it gave us basically is what I'm trying to say here. Oh yeah, look at that. They're trying to sit on my capital. I knew the bait would work. As it always does, because the AI is so predictable. And I like that. I like being able to predict my enemies. It'd be much harder if I was trying to play against humans. Oh boy. I can look cool against the AI, not so much against people. That's kind of where we are in life right now. All right, yeah, let's might as well get a hundred percent siege and all this because why not? Life is turning out nicely for us. We'll keep building up here because that's what we do. All right, we're actually at ninety nine, a hundred percent war score. Nicely done. We are truly a god among men. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. How much money can I get from you? But I do like the idea of taking all your money. Yeah. I don't want to pay the Diplo points, though. That's the thing. Actually, you know what? Let, let's do it this way. We will take no land. I just want your money. And war reparations. Trade power might actually be useful in this case. Uh, we'll, won't, we won't worry about revoking cores. Um... Yeah, let's transfer train power. End your rivalry. Yeah, why not? End your rivalry. We'll see what happens. Gave us a whole heap load of money. Is what it did. Uh, you guys can make your way over here. And now we can get even more money. Because truly... Oh yeah, no war reparations. That makes sense, actually. And what'll happen here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before a coalition forms... Oh, right, we're at war, of course. But they were willing to form an alliance with us, so that's good. That may change, but, uh... Yeah. Okay, there it is. That is exactly what we wanted. Offer an alliance, it's just barely there. But the Ottomans want to be our... our bestest buddies forever. It would be hilarious if we went through all this trouble and then we somehow got a personal union with with Russia. Boy, would my face be red. And what mission did we accomplish today? It actually gives us another mission. Alright. So this gives us 20 Cossacks loyalty and a whole bunch of cool, sweet claims. Oh. It actually might be time to start eating... Eating, uh, what, what area is this part of? Quantic Step. This requires us to all provinces in the Rufenia region, the Red Rufenia region. Okay, there's Rufenia. Where is Red Rufenia? <laughs> okay. Um, is it? Is it what is the search button I'm looking for here? You know, there was a time I knew all the hot keys. Red Rufenia. Oh wait, what am I doing? I could just highlight this. Okay. So, a little bit of Poland, actually. Alright, I can, I can dig that. In fact, we got our free claims. We can actually declare war on Poland now if we want it. And break the Tartar yoke. Alright, and this gives us sweet military power. This gives us some sweet stuff. I actually wondered to myself, when we become Russia, do we get a... I'm pretty sure there's some 
crossover. Do we get to do all these missions again? Probably not. The ones we've done probably stay done. Would be my assumption. But a man can dream of like crazy, ridiculous, over the top things where we just get too many, too many bonuses. I can't fret and war my allies, can I? And I don't know exactly why I would do that. Though to be honest, they haven't been the best allies. You're never gonna break, are you? Yeah, probably never gonna happen. Uh, let's let's keep sucking up to the Ottomans. Kind of a shame that the Ottomans didn't, for some magical crazy reason, become Orthodox, because then we could marry them. Though I guess if we somehow became Sunni, I guess you know we could pull off similar stuff. Let's uh, let's put in a nice factory here, make a little bit more money. And what do you want, Moldavia? You would like land access. And who is Poland allied with, anyway? Livonian Order, Bohemia, and Lubeck. Now, Bohemia is not a great power, so they're not necessarily someone we have to worry about. If we look at the composition of enemy armies here, Bohemia has 25,000 men. So this is actually, they're going to be... Poland themselves are also reasonably strong. The Livonian Order, reasonably strong. Lubeck is, I think, a one province. They're a two province minor. My mistake. They are entirely twice the size of a of a one province minor. Uh, so what do I want to do now? Anyone uh, want some knowledge sharing? The Ottomans might want some knowledge sharing. Interesting. But do I? Well, then again, I don't think the Ottomans are expanding anywhere that's like in our sphere of immediate interest, is it? Oh no. The Pontic Step. Oh god, the humanity. I'll never be able to complete that mission because the Ottomans are my friends now. But then again, you know what? We're our goal was never about um It was never about and that may not have been the wisest course of action, but I did it. That's fun. Uh yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, how close are we to finally being a great power? Once we beat up on Poland, we might actually might actually be in a position there. And you know what? Let's let's state all this. Why not? State it up. Maybe not that. Cuz it doesn't have that much income. I'll be honest with you, I, I've never really understood personally to myself why I should state some areas and not others. I just, my goal is basically if it makes it the least, I think, well, if it, if it looks like the, uh, the income is greater than the cost, then I will, yeah, like this only requires seven, that gives us that, it, it's all good, see? That's... There, there's some logic, I just don't know what my own logic is with it, basically, I suppose. Actually, you know what, I'm going to bring you over here as well, because we might need a little bit of help fighting rebels, because there's probably going to be a lot of them. One of those Kievians. Scary stuff, man. Right, burgers against the Cossacks, that went away. Now we're probably losing a bit of money, but that's also okay. Huh. I mean, there's always the question, do we actually want to go down there? But, well, I guess that kind of came out of nowhere. What I'm referring to, of course, is like, are we eventually going to want to turn on the Ottomans? The answer is maybe. But uh, definitely not yet. Russia is... They actually don't seem to have grown. We are growing. They seem to be sort of stalling. Sort of. I don't know how much money they have. There's ways we could look into this. They don't have a debt. So there's that. Hmm. Yeah. 
Hmm. It's always about that thinking, isn't it? How best to do some of these things. Also, Dynasty. Okay, so Rurikovich is it's it's basically just the two of us, so it's there. It is there. Everything is okay. Difficult, but okay. We're probably gonna want to state up this as well. I'm pretty sure all this area is relatively valuable. I might not bother building a navy though, because I can't see us having a need. Also, what are the odds of getting you to be a vassal? I never understood the economic base thing. It's kind of, it's kind of wacky. But then again, then again, I, I think the, the intention is basically to say that, hey, you're not really supposed to have that many vassals at this point in time. And this is kind of a, a point in time where vassals were less of a thing. Oh, I could actually... Be buddies with De you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna make this alliance now, and my reasoning for that is because once either I or uh, Russia's guy dies, we're gonna break that royal marriage. Okay, there we go. See it all balanced out. Russia is now our rival, unfortunately. I mean, we knew that was coming. Let's suck up to outraged people, and let's see here. Also want to claim on Kasimov. And I'm not 100% sure. It also occurs to me, the way I've set this up, I, I'm basically at a point where... Well, that's messy. But we're at a point where just about anyone that Russia might declare war on, other than ourselves, we might get dragged into. But also, because we're... Because of our relative strength... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just, I'm feeling a little confused about what exactly it is I'm doing at this point. Because I'm not sure if Russia's actually going to be able to gain strength faster than I am. In terms of, like, I don't know if they have the economy to support that massive force limit they have. And we, we could go digging through the ledgers looking for this stuff. Which I guess we're doing right now. They have, they have 50 ducats right now. They make some amount of money. We could go dig again. We could go digging through this. Um, enemies. Is that is that Russia? Someone. Or no, that's me. Don't even know how to read this thing. Apparently. All right. So if we whoa, what the what in the hell was happened here? Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Effectively, I don't actually know what any of that means. Just that stuff is happening. I am a little bit scared because I don't know what's going to happen to us. But I do know that I am looking forward to the challenge, I suppose, that we are going to be facing. And that is... Always a good thing, I think. It's going to be hard to fight Poland. I do want to fight Lithuania again. Might as well keep building a spine network against them while we can. And, yeah, we just have to... We just have to sit here and we have to... Take our time. Think about this. And... Okay, we got a pretty garbage queen. Oh, and Russia's got a disputed succession. Wait, but we already have a... Uh, what happens at this point? Oh, right. Because we don't have a royal marriage with them, so we can't actually... I I've, I found I... I always thought that um, like personal unions were hard to get. But in my own experience, partly off-camera, some on-camera as well, I finally remember some of our previous series correctly. I've always been kind of lucky with uh, personal unions. Though when I'm off camera, I, I'm not above save scumming just to try and get it to happen. Never on camera though, because save scumming on camera is dishonorable and only for cowards and lonely people or something. Or I guess people who are trying to show off like crazy cheesy strategies. 
which is sometimes fun. Some people love seeing that stuff. I am probably one of those people. I enjoy a crazy strategy from time to time. Hmm. Yeah, if I'm going to hire anyone, we want a manpower force limit guy. And do we want anyone here? I can't actually afford you. I can afford you, though, for some reason. You're older, I guess. And, yeah. Alright. Maybe I should be saving up our money a little, and we'll get back to some of these things later. It is time to say goodbye again, though, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.